A conjunction is a joiner, a word that connects, conjoins, parts of a sentence. Coordinating conjunctions and or but for nor so yet. What is a conjunction? A conjunction is a word or phrase that connects words, phrases, clauses, and sentences together. The word and is a commonly used example of a conjunction. Here are two examples of how we can use a conjunction like and in both a simple and complex way. The flower is yellow and white. Connects two adjectives. The flower is yellow, and it has a particular smell. Connects two sentences. Conjunctions are useful in writing and speech to connect related ideas together, and they help us make our sentences shorter, less repetitive, or less confusing. Conjunction examples Some of the most commonly used words are conjunctions. Let's take a look at some examples and how we would use them in sentences. List of common conjunctions The following list contains some of the most commonly used conjunctions. And but or so because however after since during then unless that while conjunctions in a sentence here are some example sentences that show the different ways we can use conjunctions. The parking lot was filled with cars, trucks, and buses. Natalie thinks cats are cute, but she can't have any because she is allergic to them. Before we can travel to Europe, we have to get passports. He showed me the jacket that he bought yesterday. The talented acrobats impressed both the children and their parents. Types of conjunctions Coordinating conjunctions A coordinating conjunction is a conjunction that connects two or more equal grammatical elements. In practice, this usually means a coordinating conjunction will connect the same parts of speech, such as a verb to another verb. For example, everyone sang and danced. Importantly, coordinating conjunctions are the conjunctions used to connect independent clauses together. An independent clause is a phrase that can stand alone as a complete sentence. Take a look at the following two clauses. He might have gone to the park. He may have returned home. These are both complete sentences. We can use a coordinating conjunction to join them into one sentence. If we do, the coordinating conjunction will follow a comma. He might have gone to the park, or he may have returned home. Or connects two sentences. Subordinating conjunctions A subordinating conjunction is used to connect a subordinate clause, also called a dependent clause, to an independent clause. Unlike an independent clause, a subordinate clause cannot stand by itself as a complete sentence. For example, where the buffalo roam, not a complete sentence. However, we can use a subordinating conjunction to attach a subordinate clause to an independent clause. Subordinating conjunctions can either come at the beginning of a sentence or somewhere in the middle. Whenever it rains, we stay inside and watch movies. We stay inside and watch movies whenever it rains. Correlative conjunctions Correlative conjunctions are pairs of conjunctions that work together. Some examples of correlative conjunctions include both and, either, or, neither, nor, and rather, than. Each pair of correlative conjunctions has a different function. Here are a few examples. I need flowers that are either red or pink. Lists two options. She would much rather play outside than sit in the house. States a preferred choice. The dog was as big as a horse. Forms a simile. How much do you know about prepositions? Learn about them here. Conjunction rules for the most part. Conjunctions aren't too tough to use correctly. 
However, there are some rules to keep in mind. Where to place conjunctions in general, conjunctions are frequently used between the things they connect. For example, I am hungry and tired. He tried to buy some food, but the store was closed. Cheetahs run faster than most other animals. Two exceptions to this general rule are subordinating conjunctions, which can be used at the beginning of sentences, and the first of a pair of correlative conjunctions. Since we were kids, we have loved riding roller coasters. The soup has both carrots and onions. It is often said that you can't begin a sentence with coordinating conjunctions like and or but. However, this rule is often broken, and it is perfectly acceptable to begin a sentence with a coordinating conjunction. You just need to make sure your sentences are clear. For example, you might think we know everything there is to know about dinosaurs. But you'd be wrong. The Grinch never liked Christmas trees. Or anything else that had to do with Christmas. Proper comma usage The comma is oftentimes the punctuation mark that causes people the most problems. In general, these are the rules of using commas with conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions. Use a comma before the conjunction when connecting independent clauses together or when creating a list. Don't use a comma if connecting things that aren't independent clauses. Independent clause. I love my sister, and she loves me. Comma. List. I'll eat vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry ice cream. Comma. Not an independent clause. This sweater is hot and itchy. No comma, too. Subordinating conjunctions. You don't need a comma unless a subordinating clause is used at the beginning of a sentence. If it is, put a comma at the end of the entire subordinate clause. No comma. I passed the test easily because I studied really hard. Comma. Because I studied really hard, I passed the test easily. 3. Correlative conjunctions. Typically, correlative conjunctions don't need a comma. It is possible that they may appear near a comma, though, if a comma is being used for another reason, such as separating out a modifier. For example, I spoke to both Abby, who didn't know what happened, and Will, who did. Using different types of conjunctions together it is perfectly fine to use all of the different types of conjunctions together in the same sentence. Just remember that coordinating conjunctions are used to join independent clauses and subordinating conjunctions are used to join subordinate clauses to independent clauses. Sometimes, sentences can get very long and complicated, but you still need to remember when and where to use commas. Here is an example of a complicated sentence that uses all three types of conjunctions. Take note that only the coordinating conjunction that connects two independent clauses uses a comma. I tried to convince my mom and dad I was innocent, but my plan failed because both my younger brother and my younger sister told them that I broke the window. A subordinating conjunction introduces a dependent clause and indicates the nature of the relationship among the independent clauses and the dependent clauses. The most common subordinating conjunctions are after, although, as, because, before, how, if, once, since, then, that, though, until, when, where, whether, and while. Conjunctions are words that link other words, phrases, or clauses together. I like cooking and eating, but I don't like washing dishes afterward. 
Sophie is clearly exhausted, yet she insists on dancing till dawn. Conjunctions allow you to form complex, elegant sentences and avoid the choppiness of multiple short sentences. Make sure that the phrases joined by conjunctions are parallel, share the same structure. I work quickly and careful. I work quickly and carefully. Here's a tip. Want to make sure your writing always looks great? Grammarly can save you from misspellings, grammatical and punctuation mistakes, and other writing issues on all your favorite websites. Your writing, at its best be the best writer in the office. Get Grammarly Coordinating Conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions allow you to join words, phrases, and clauses of equal grammatical rank in a sentence. The most common coordinating conjunctions are for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. You can remember them by using the mnemonic device fanboys. I'd like pizza or a salad for lunch. We needed a place to concentrate, so we packed up our things and went to the library. Jessie didn't have much money, but she got by. Notice the use of the comma when a coordinating conjunction is joining two independent clauses. Correlative conjunctions Correlative conjunctions are pairs of conjunctions that work together. Some examples are either, or, neither, nor, and not only, but also. Not only am I finished studying for English, but I'm also finished writing my history essay. I am finished with both my English essay and my history essay. Subordinating conjunctions Subordinating conjunctions join independent and dependent clauses. A subordinating conjunction can signal a cause and effect relationship, a contrast, or some other kind of relationship between the clauses. Common subordinating conjunctions are because, since, as, although, though, while, and whereas. Sometimes an adverb, such as until, after, or before can function as a conjunction. I can stay out until the clock strikes 12. Here, the adverb until functions as a subordinating conjunction to connect two ideas. I can stay out, the independent clause, and the clock strikes 12, the dependent clause. The independent clause could stand alone as a sentence. The dependent clause depends on the independent clause to make sense. The subordinating conjunction doesn't need to go in the middle of the sentence. It has to be part of the dependent clause, but the dependent clause can come before the independent clause. Before he leaves, make sure his room is clean. If the dependent clause comes first, use a comma before the independent clause. I drank a glass of water because I was thirsty. Because I was thirsty, I drank a glass of water. Starting a sentence with a conjunction. Many of us were taught in school that it is an error to begin a sentence with a conjunction, but that rule is a myth. As mentioned above, a subordinating conjunction can begin a sentence if the dependent clause comes before the independent clause. It's also correct to begin a sentence with a coordinating conjunction. Often, it's a good way to add emphasis. Beginning too many sentences with conjunctions will cause the device to lose its force, however, so use this technique sparingly. Have a safe trip. And don't forget to call when you get home. Jerty flung open the door. But there was no one on the other side. List of conjunctions coordinating conjunctions for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so correlative conjunctions both, and, either, or, neither, nor, not only, but, whether, or. 
some subordinating conjunctions after, although, as, as if, as long as, as much as, as soon as, as though, because, before, by the time, even if, even though, if, in order that, in case, in the event that, lest, now that, once, only, only if, provided that, since, so, supposing, that, then, though, till, unless, until, when, whenever, where, whereas, wherever, whether or not, while. Correlative conjunctions always appear in pairs. You use them to link equivalent sentence elements. The most common correlative conjunctions are both dot and either or neither dot nor not only dot but also so as and whether or